four degrees is hard to get your head around. I mean, what does it mean? Um, one of the, the key analogies I like to use is the fact that the last ice age, when uh, the world was uh, had sea levels 120 meters lower, it had enormous ice sheets over North America, uh, most of Iceland was glaciated, most of Europe was glaciated. That had a temperature change of only five degrees cooler than today. And so if you're thinking about a one ice age unit in the other direction, that was a completely different planet. Five degrees the other direction will be a completely different planet. And four degrees is very close to that. A four degree warmer world would be devastating. Uh, four degrees C sounds not too bad on a cold day. But this is a four degrees, a global average, which, and that includes, of course, the oceans as well. So the land temperature will be much higher, maybe five or six degrees C. But of course, that also will be played out geographically around the world quite differently. So some parts will be much, much warmer than the average temperature. And the average temperature during other events like heat waves, some of the science there says that you would not see a four degrees addition. You'd see maybe an eight, nine or ten degrees addition on top of a heat wave. So it would exacerbate already the extreme events that, are, that our global community already struggles to deal with. We are not well adapted to the extreme events that we already have. And four degrees C would be a very large um, temperature signal on top of those extreme events. So we'd start to see really you know, major devastations to our infrastructures, the way we love our lives, but also to ecosystems. And ecosystems are not things that are just separate to us. They provide us with the pollination for the plants that provide us with the food. So what you start to see is a breakdown of all of the things, whether it's the direct physical infrastructure or whether it's actually the ecosystem services, as some people call them, that provide us with things like our food. These things would start to break down at a very rapid level. My fear of that is that we would not respond appropriately then, we would probably just simply fight. And we'd probably have considerable sort of military tensions and wars that would come out of that. What would a four degree warmer world mean to us? It will mean pretty substantial impacts um, to our children and grandchildren in the sense that large areas of currently productive farmland will probably cease to be, um, will be, they'll become deserts. We'll see much higher standing seas. Um, we're already seeing that when having only reached the higher standing seas, we're already beginning to see effects of, and we are only at 0.8 Celsius, I think is the current calculation of how much damage we've already done. Um, what would 4C bring in higher sea levels? You're talking several meters and not this 10 or 12 centimeters we've had to date. Um, it would be a very different world and eventually it would be an ice free world. It would be a different planet. Uh, we will not recognize the planet uh, as we know it today.